Welcome in 11th and last episode of our Alpine trip. In last episode we took a train up to highest train station in Europe, Jungfraujo. In this one we will go inside St. Bartos Caves to avoid over 35 plus Celsius grades outside. We will show you also some amazing roads here in Switzerland and at the end we will go through beautiful canyon which we really can recommend you. I will try to summarize this trip a little so stay tuned. There will be some numbers at the end of this video. day of our trip the last uh, weekend has begun for us so uh, soon we are coming home to Norway but uh, we changed our clothes because we are about to get a little hike to St. Uh, Beatus Caves uh, because also it's very hot so it's a good way to get to cold places like this because there is like 8 celsius or 10 celsius some like constant and the temperature there so today we began pretty late because we get out of the camping in Grindenwald in uh, about uh, 11 am so right about the time that they uh, the checkout time <laughs> so we didn't have to pay another day that's good so yes we leave all our stuff on a motorcycle like this and I don't know if you do it but uh, we are not afraid still we we haven't lost anything uh, due to uh, thievery so no one's stolen our, our things yet so that's why we are doing it and we look kind of funny <laughs> in all those clothes Ola is green, I am grey two weeks of sitting on a motorcycle riding with trains and cable cars is very bad for your overall condition <laughs> so it's like 200 meters up <laughs> our worst enemy Hiking. going up Hiking. five minutes of murderous hike <laughs> we did it in all sweat and this is uh, the it's caves 26 degrees you yeah know. yeah it's a uh, caves of uh, saint beatrice beatus so let's get colder now the beatus is a man it's not a woman, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that. So uh, we have it, similar name in Polish. Yes, and uh, it was a messenger, faith messenger, who came here. So according to the legend, he lived here in the second century and came here, uh, get rid of the dragon that lived here in that caves, and he dwelt here alone and healed the injured. <laughs> <laughs> they let us in. <laughs> they, they don't know what they have done. <laughs> wow, it's cozy. Oh, it's cold here. <gasps> Amazing. Oh. If you're high, watch your head. GoPro can't withstand that darkness, so footage from here is mostly useless. But if you will be in area of those caves, give them a shot. Our experience from caves in Poland gave us an idea that the tour will not be so long, but to our amazement it was really, really long walk inside them. One kilometer one way to the end of the tourist route and then one kilometer back. It takes about one hour to check everything here. 
At first we were delighted with the temperature, but after so long time we were freezing. Inside the caves is constant 8 to 10 Celsius, so take something warmer with you. At the end awaits you grand tour of Switzerland sign to as a photo spot. During the way here you will see many illuminated grottos, plants, stalagmites, stalactites, waterfalls and many more. The sound of water will be with you all the time. And if I remember correctly the caves are not opened during spring meltdowns because they are filled with water. This one is called Mamma mia! <laughs> We are in the museum, so once you are buying a ticket, you have uh, entrance to the cave to the, um, and to the museum, the same. And this is a map of how this cave looks like. So it's really long and really big. We have one hour to Adelboden and uh, we found the camping. So we just need to get up, get, get ourselves up, but it's hard now. Yes. Maybe soon. <laughs> we have time. It's uh, half four, uh, so it's uh, we have still a uh, good time. And now it's a uh, biggest warm uh, during the day, so I don't want to right now, but I need to. We have to. We have to. Uh, Norway come back. <laughs> <laughs> This is Lake Thun and it's really awesome. Water has glacier color and the views on the mountains are just best possible. The road is very curvy and has higher parties above water when you can admire the lake even more. We rode almost around this lake but later we got ourselves in a serious traffic jam. I tried to avoid it but it was really hard due to narrow streets and many cars coming from opposite direction. left the lake and rode towards mountains again. We didn't buy anything before because we checked that right next to the camping is some restaurant. But when we came there it was just a bar without any food. So we tried to ride to the nearest town few kilometers away but there were only expensive restaurants there and it was getting really late so we found just one open bakery. There we finally bought something. What a luck. Hello. You surprised me. Okay, so this day was tough and we had like 35 Celsius all day and we had a traffic jam right after the b 2 caves. So after b 2 cave we were riding 30 max, maybe sometimes 50 in like two hours when there was uh, 35 rather grades. So it was exhausting, extremely exhausting. We are now in uh, Adelboden and tomorrow we are going to make a route about the canyon which is, which is here, which I heard is great and it's gonna take one and a half hour and also we are about to take a ride on some uh, lake that our friend uh, sent us. So we'll see and um, I must say that I am very tired after today. This thing, the temperature is unbelievable to ride. I'm, I'm very happy that in Norway we don't have such temperatures. <laughs> We started early that day to avoid heat and 8 minutes later we arrived at Canyon location. 
Hello everyone, we are in Adelboden almost and this is our last attraction on this uh, trip. Right before the Adelboden there is a sign with parking. It's a Hollerenschlucht uh, ten Kessel and it's a very nice canyon which is we going to visit and see and show you and uh, this parking is free and from my from I heard this attraction is also free so it's a great uh, great idea if you don't want to maybe spend some extra money here and uh, I saw it only on photos and on photos it look it looks amazingly beautiful so we going to check this and uh, yeah, show you and tell you if it's worth it to come here. And this is the whole map of this thing. We are here, so this is the whole route. And this whole route takes about one hour, one and a half, precisely. And we are going down from here. And uh, I think you can already hear uh, the water. High. From parking to the canyon is 20 minute walk across very nice and cozy landscape with farms and houses. Oh. Into the unknown. Beside one farm was a fridge where you can buy cheese made at place. The walk is not demanding and leads through some shadows, so we enjoyed it very much. In addition, if you want, you can refresh yourself in a river nearby fresh and very cold water to give you some extra energy. Soon later we came across entrance to the canyon with hanging bridge and it's the place when the real fun begins. The whole path along the canyon is built over the river down there. It's really stunning how much work it took and how greatly it's done. The water is very loud here and even in such dry period it felt powerful. I can't imagine what is happening when it's raining. Keep a distance, keep a distance and watch your head. The canyon is 15 minutes long if you will make few stops to admire it, which of course I think you should do. We were there more than that because we stopped at every corner to see everything. We knew that we won't come here again, so we wanted to remember it as good as possible. I was reading so this is the end of that canyon and it's great and uh, it took about 20 minutes to go past it with stops and pictures but it's really worth coming here it's for free there is some uh, information that if you want you can donate because it took mass uh, massive uh, amounts of money to make it uh, I think this is great attraction very it's uh, written here that it's a uh, be most beautiful canyon of this area and uh, I think that I can agree with that. Mm. So this is the sign that shows us that this is the end and that was the last attraction uh, on our trip. And I just hope that you enjoyed it. Right now we are about to go to uh, our friend which uh, lives around uh, Bern. Brno. Brno. Bern, Brno. Yeah, something like that. And, uh, and from there we just have to go through Germany and uh, Denmark to Norway so from now on it's like a transit all around so we have like 1.5 thousand kilometers left and we have to do it like in two days maybe I, I, I hope that we'll, uh, we're gonna do this I will I assure of it we have 37 Celsius degrees and it's just awful so we are overheating very much it's very bad I must say it's very very bad uh, our friend said that this heat now it's the biggest heat in 30 years so yeah we, I checked for example we were in Adelboden and uh, it was 39 32 29 to 32 Celsius degrees and uh, I checked the uh, median 
temperature yearly so in july july is the warmest uh, month and it's like 15th so we had double uh, the medium yeah medium temperature uh, so it's oh my god okay we have to go so keep your things uh, keep your finger close crossed i don't know what i'm talking from that heat it's... we have to just go <laughs> yes Oof. the terrain was much flatter here and we were at much lower altitude so it wasn't helping at all and we drove through small towns all the time with very low speed limits we didn't even have opportunity to be called down by wind whatsoever we spent the night near Brno at Chris and Olivia apartments, so big thanks to them for showing us city and telling us about living in Switzerland. The next two days we were just driving through Germany and Denmark. We had a ferry from Hirschals to Larvik in Norway at 10 pm, so we had to do it. The last day we drove over 1000 km, plus we slept on a staircase on a ferry. We came home near Oslo around 5 to 6 am, incredibly tired but lucky that we can sleep now. The whole tour took us 3 weeks and we made 7100 km total. Thank you for watching this episode and if you were with us along the whole series I really hope that you enjoyed being with us. This was our longest by time and distance trip that we have done by far. We try to make all the movies interesting and enjoyable so if we made it please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next movies from our next adventures. Bye!